coastal waters of Sri Lanka, is a rich and diverse habitat with an abundance of life. Among the various animals that calls the ocean their home, the dugong is the only one of its kind. Even though it is not as famous, as other marine mammals, such as dolphins, or whales, the dugong is a key member of our marine ecosystem. Living in coastal waters of Sri Lanka, their main habitat are the seagrass meadows, which is an especially important marine ecosystem. Although it's smaller than other marine mammals, measuring at a maximum length of 3 meters, their round bodies, can weigh up to 500 kilos. Their diet consists entirely of seagrass, of which they need at least 40 kilos every day. They can remain underwater for 3 to 12 minutes, foraging in large seagrass meadows. Although their skin appears to be smooth, it is rough, with short hairs covering its entire body. Their muzzle is pointing downwards and are covered with thick whiskers to help them easily graze on sea grasses. Strictly herbivores, the dugong live much of its life feeding on large seagrass meadows, which is a vital environment for carbon absorption. Dugong are slow-moving creatures, usually swimming at around 9 km per hour. But in the event of a threat, it can almost double its speed to escape from harm. They can stay submerged for about 3 to 12 minutes, averaging at around 10 minutes. Dugong calves usually ride on their mother's back. Because of their slow speed, they find it difficult to live in cold environments. Seagrass habitat depends on dugong, as their continuous grazing encourages new growth, and their feces provide nutrition to the grasses the same way African savanna depends on the great herds. The dugong that live around the coastal waters of Sri Lanka, live in groups of two or three. These gentle creatures, love to live in warm, shallow waters, as these conditions are ideal, for sea grasses and other sea plants. In Sri Lanka, the dugong can be found in shallow seas around Pork Bay, Aripa Pearl Banks, Gulf of Mana and along the Adams Bridge. But even in these areas, the dugong is extremely hard to find due to their elusive nature as well as their small numbers, which has drastically reduced over the past few decades. According to the International Union for Conservation of Nature, dugong are classified as being vulnerable to extinction. In Sri Lanka, dugong were hunted for meat in the 70s, until the Fauna and Flora Protection Act declared them as a protected species. Even though they are not intentionally hunted, dugong often fall prey to human activities. Fishing nets, illegal fishing techniques, such as using dynamite, using sodium cyanide and collision with boats are few of the main causes for their decline. Illegal hunting is still carried out in some areas, and two such dugong, who were found hunted few years ago, were declared the biggest dugong in the world. Of these two, the male dugong weighed 480 kilos, and female, weighed a record 525 kilos. These two were later stuffed and kept at the Marine Museum of Nara, as an exhibit. The Dugong and Seagrass Conservation Project, was established as the first coordinated global effort, to conserve the dugong, and the seagrass that sustain them. The project, is carried out across eight countries in the Indian Ocean, and the Pacific Ocean, including Indonesia, Madagascar, Malaysia, Mozambique, Solomon Islands, Sri Lanka, East Timor, and Vanuatu. In Sri Lanka, this program operates in multiple steps. 
promoting dugong and seagrass conservation among adults by providing the socio-economic rationale for conservation in the local context. Raise awareness among communities via performances, educational materials, and social marketing programs promoting dugong and seagrass conservation. Finding methods of increasing the protection provided to these animals by the law. Encouraging local fishermen to safely release dugong caught as accidental by catch. Eliminating damage to seagrass beds and related fauna. And mapping existing seagrass beds and establishing safe habitat areas. Seagrass is the only flowering plant which grow in marine environments. It grows in the shallow coastal areas of the ocean. Even though seagrass can only be found in 0.2% of the world's oceans, it can produce more oxygen than all the rainforests on land combined. Seagrasses form dense underwater seagrass meadows, which are among the most productive ecosystems in the world. They function as important carbon sinks and provide habitats and food for a diversity of marine life comparable to that of coral reefs. However, seagrass beds are being destroyed since the 80s at an alarming rate. Almost 110 square kilometers of these valuable habitat is being destroyed each year through human activities, such as bottom trawling. Time has come to realize the importance of this unique habitat, as well as the dugong, the keeper of seagrass meadows. We still have time, but we must act now before it is too late.